I was born an uncle. That's crazy, dog. Oh, wow, you can control both sides. I like for people to be confused about my race. I am ordained. See, no, 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 no. Before. you think you're getting me now. Okay. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to Not a Podcast. I am Improv, and um, today I have someone who I find very interesting. I like to bring on interesting people. And this is actually like our first conversation. It is. It ever. Is. Everybody, this is Twist. Hi. Hello. Thank you for clapping. I was holding for applause. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to get right into it. Um, so, first of all, like I said, I think you're a very interesting person. Thank you. In the same week that I did the first episode, you made a change. I did. A big change. A big change. To yourself. Mm -hmm. Um and can we just talk about that for a second? Like, can we start there? Sure, yeah. Straight to the meat of it. Straight in. Yeah. So Twist has, um, what do you call it? Split tongue, or um, very technically, it's a bifurcated tongue. Bifurcation. Bifurcation. Yeah. That's your vocabulary word of the day. And that's for the tongue specifically? No, you can bifurcate anything. To bifurcate something is to just split it in half. Got it. So yeah. Yup, bifurcated. Cool. Yeah. Another vocabulary word, totally not on topic. Masticate. I know Chewing. that one. I yeah. Know that one. Bifurcating, I learned masticating. that in massage school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay, can, can we, this will be my first time seeing it. Can we see? Like, yeah. Can I see? Oh, oh, wow, you can control both sides. Mm hmm This reminds me of Men in Black a little bit. This is dope. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um. All right, so... I like to ask people why they made certain changes and choices. Like Hoya, he tattooed his whole body, his head. Yeah. Hopefully, I don't know the rest, but you know, mm -hmm. you get the point. I'm on my way. So like, what led you to this decision? I've wanted my tongue split since I was like a kid. Honestly. I can't rationalize it too well. Not like a, <laughs> not like a cartoon or a movie that like inspired you? A snake? I think snakes are cool. I've always loved snakes. I don't fear them in a way that a lot of people do. I think reptiles in general are pretty cool. But I, there's no one reason, honestly, that I can pinpoint for splitting my tongue. I just think it's dope. Like the same reason you would get a tattoo or a piercing. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's just the next level up and I'm a little bit closer to fully curating my sim, you know? Okay. Yeah. I'm following. Yeah. Why now? How old are you? If you don't mind me asking, because this was like a birthday. It was a birthday okay. thing. Yeah. I just turned 25. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, the opportunity kind of sprang itself on me. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I would have done it if it weren't just kind of like forced upon me a little bit, mm -hmm. which the people don't want to hear. Um, I've wanted it done for a long time, but a friend of mine told me that there was a free opportunity to get mine done. Oh, for the free ski? For the free ski. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that. I'm mm -hmm. telling you now. It oh, was, thank you. Yeah. Um, it was done for the free ski, um, because I, um, what I do for work, we'll get into that too, I guess. That's okay. Um, but because of what I do for work, um, I've got friends in the industry. I know people who know people and, um... I knew someone who was looking to do more tongue splits before traveling and doing a bunch of tongue splits. Uh huh. So, bada bing, bada boom. I was like, yeah, put me in line. Got you. Yeah. But how much is that uh, like procedure? It usually usually goes for like four hundred. Okay, that's like a PlayStation. Yeah. Five, yeah. I think. Okay. For the free ski. For the free ski. Yeah. Well, you, but you just have to like take care of your PlayStation Five very very well for like a week mm -hmm. oh like okay the healing process the he it is only takes big. a week yeah That's pretty it. much yeah but it's kind of brutal for a week okay run me through yeah. that like how did that like were you crying every day did it no, hurt actually, when you I didn't got cry it? any of the days i was watching a bunch of youtube videos for a long time this is just like years of preparation that i was doing like mm -hmm. unknowingly kind of watching YouTube videos of people going through their process and people literally boohoo crying like all like five days or all seven days of their healing journey. Um, 
And I was, I just didn't want that to be me. So I just didn't cry. Actually, mm -hmm. I had a pretty great time. Um, I slept really well. Mm -hmm. I was eating by day two. Most people don't eat solid foods for like a whole week. Straight liquid diet. Um, I wasn't even really drooling. Oh, people drool? Yeah, a lot. Yeah, when your tongue swells up to like two or three times its size, you just, ugh, it, it just happens to you, bro. Not that you have to show me, but do you have like footage of you like with a, like a swollen tongue? Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I can show you after this. Yeah, the people don't want to see that. It's pretty gnarly. I'm excited. Yeah. I have a picture of it actually in the middle of the process because I was awake during it. What? Hold yeah. on. No, 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 no. What? I, yeah, I was awake <laughs> during it. So I have a picture in the process of my tongue, like before it was stitched back together. It was just completely like split open. You, yeah. You're a brave soul. Yeah, I got, like, my thumbs up and everything. That's crazy. But did yeah. they numb you? That is actually only legal if you're a doctor. So you can't administer any type of numbing agent or yeah. anything unless you are medically licensed, at least in the state of Florida. I don't know how the laws go for every state, but numbing is one of those, like, gray areas that mm. the law likes to get in the way of. So you were, like, fully conscious during this process? I was so lucid. I remember the whole thing. I was very aware. I was oh. very aware. <laughs> I could never do that. I promise yeah. you. Like, I mean, I definitely had, like, a J or two beforehand, but that's mm -hmm. every day. So Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we got to actually talk about that because yeah. I, I felt like when I saw it, I was like, I'm, I'm pretty sure a bunch of people are hitting her up about yeah, this. Yeah, absolutely. So I was like, I'm going to wait. Yeah. I'm going to wait. Yeah. And we're here. Okay. Uh, so we've met a few years ago, and I met you through dance because that's mm -hmm. something I've done for a long time. Um, once again, you're a very unique person because I have never seen a person dance mm -hmm. the way you do. Thank you. Where, where, did, where did your style come from? How long you been dancing? I started dancing at a pretty young age. I started with ballet, I think, when I was four or five. Oh, really? Yeah, I did ballet um, for a couple of years, maybe only like one or two years, not very long. Um, but I did that, I did tap, and I don't think I did jazz, mm -hmm. but I was so young at the time, I probably did. Mm -hmm. um, I did baton also. What's baton that? is, um, it's just, you know, you, give me my fork, you just twirl in the thing, you know? With the toss? Yeah, and you, you know, you flip it and you throw it up in the air and stuff. And I was literally marching in parades when I was like six years old, spinning a baton and catching it. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, in high school, I stopped doing dance because I was just bratty, I think. Which I was bratty and I was being told to dance. So I didn't want to be told what to do. So I stopped doing it for a while and then I missed it. And in high school, I started dancing again, mm -hmm. went straight back into ballet. Uh -huh. um, and tap, which I love, but I don't do it enough. So where does this style that you have now, when I see you dance, is how would I describe it? You ever seen Soul Calibur, the game? Uh, there's, there's a character. Uh, he's always in a bikini or something for some reason. But he, like, walks backwards, and, like, he has these blades on his fingers. Whoa. Um, no, I have but, not like, seen him. The way you dance, I've got research to very, very flexible. Okay. I, I can't think of the name of the character. You guys know. Somebody knows. But the way, that's how you move in a way. You say very flexible. I have a disorder that makes me hyper flexible. Where? Everywhere. Oh. So, like, it's called Ellers Danlos. And uh, basically the collagen in my body, if you know what collagen is, it's the stuff that makes everything springy and mm -hmm. bouncy in your body. It's supposed to make your skin youthful and whatnot. My body doesn't understand collagen the right way. So every part of my body that's supposed to be like stretchy, meaning like your skin or like your joints or, you know, anything that bends, mm -hmm. mine bends too much. So, yeah. Yeah, that was a real thing you noticed. So, so because of that, can, is it a condition? Yeah. Because of that condition. It's genetic. That's so I've always had it. why you dance. Well, that's a part of why you dance the way you dance. Yeah. So no one can actually copy you, like. Unless they have yeah. the same, like, situation going mm -hmm. on. 
like even my thumbs are really flexible. Like most people's thumbs don't bend that far back. Oh, wow. You're actually right. Yeah. Because they're all really bendy. Like, you know, my fingertips, I just... Are you human? I'm going for cyborg. But the reptilian snake tongue thing, I think, might be throwing it off. I might have made the wrong choice there. Mm -hmm. So um, last time I had a guest on, I asked them to tell me how they would want me to describe them to someone else. So if I'm like, hey, such and such, this is my friend Twist. She, what is the first thing that I say? Do I start with, like, I don't know, your job? Or do I start with, like, I mean, your I tongue, am, you know? I am very proud of my job. Um, now that I'm piercing full time, um, heck yeah, introduce me as such. So start, we start with piercing. Yeah, absolutely. And what do you want people to know after that? Your, like your race, which I have no idea of. Um, I like for people to be confused about my race, honestly. I love the ethnic ambiguity uh -huh. that I can bring to a table. A little bit of mystery, shall we say. Mm -hmm. But for the people wondering, since I'm bearing it all right now, so I'll go for me. Like for me, I'll okay. be like, if you're telling someone about me, I tell them to start off with he does videography and photography. Yeah. Um, I would say after that, you can tell tell them I dance, but don't yeah. don't make that like don't make it seem like I'm out here doing gigs. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, because like, there's been a lot of times where people will try to hire me for dance stuff, and I'm like, I'm too busy with the other stuff. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm good. Mm -hmm. So like, just say he dances for fun. And after that, you can just tell them, like, I'm a dork or something. Like, I'm, like I like watching Marvel movies or something like that. Like, But that's, like, how I like to be presented. Yeah. So, like... I would say, like, oh, yeah, Twist is, like, this piercer that's honestly, like, a, a sprite little weirdo, but cool. <laughs> Definitely cool, but weird cool. Mm -hmm. You know, the kind of cool that makes you question yourself. And the kind of weird that makes you like question yourself, uh -huh. but in a cool way. In a cool way, as long as <laughs> yeah. cool as you, <laughs> yeah, four to six times, we're yeah, good. that and um, the art side of me. I feel like I, I do art so much. Mm -hmm. I wish it were more at the forefront of my personality, but sometimes I feel like it's something that people find out about me like way later on the fact that I do art. Like, I draw, like I draw, paint, paint, I... Um, I, like, every medium of art, I've played with it. I've paper mache I've sculpted, I've... Uh, I crochet like a motherfucker. I like to sew. Mm. Um, I just love DIYing. I am that DIY bitch. Even so, on yourself, the hair and Yeah, absolutely, piercings. yeah. I did the hair myself, yeah. Are these your only piercings? I have... Like 17 piercings, I think. I've got my eyebrows, three in my nose. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't have the one under my tongue anymore. R.I.P. Sad face. Oh, but I you can do two on both sides now. Yeah, yeah. So I used to have one underneath my tongue. My tongue web was pierced. Mm -hmm. which, oh, that, okay. Yeah, yeah I was um, kind of locally known for that too, I guess, because I recently met another piercer who was like, oh, you're the, the person who's got the... The tongue web piercing with like the bullet cut ends on it. Wow. And I was like, oh, you know me from my tongue? We yeah. And I've never even laid eyes on you, bro. That's dope. I mean, I feel like low key, I'm like, low key, y'all famous. We're going to get into that. That's like, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. What, I, I got you. That's, that's, at yeah. The end. Um, okay, got you, got you. So, like, weird, cool tattoos, art, art. Mm -hmm. That's, that's the three. That's, that's the... Yeah. Okay, I had no idea you were into art, but... I love art. That's, that's because this is our first conversation. Really, yeah. like, actually having a genuine... I've taken art classes, like, my whole life, so... Mm. Love that. Like, I'm artistic in certain ways, but not with creating physical, like, drawings. I tried. Mm -hmm. Didn't work out. Yeah. Quit. That's okay. But... It's good to try. Mm -hmm. I'd like to try things. I think that's part of my personality, too, if you want to throw that into the mix. Like, oh, yeah, twist. They're a real try hard. Yeah, I'm a try hard. That's okay. I think it's good to try hard sometimes. <laughs> it is. It's very good. Yeah. How did you get into dance? Oh, 
like, have you been dancing since you were a jit? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Up? I had an uncle. Oh, I still have an uncle. He's still. Oh, that's good. Good uncle. <laughs> uncle Ben. I'm just playing. Um, uh, my uncle, he was always dancing at, like, family get-togethers and events, weddings. Um, and I was just little watching him do it. So, like, um, it's, it's kind of like more of a, like an older brother than an uncle. But, you know, when y'all not too far out of, out of age, you know. But I wish. I've always been so jealous of people mm-hmm. who've got like uncles that are like really close like, to their age or like yeah. a nephew that's like a year younger and it's like I was born an uncle. That's crazy, dog. <laughs> no, absolutely not. I got a small family. No, I, I was definitely born an uncle. Oh yeah, so yeah, my uncle he was always just dancing at family get togethers and stuff. And I remember my first dance move that I ever I actually started doing was the Harlem Shake. Cause cause of Bow Wow. I was a yeah. big Bow Wow fan growing up as a kid. Yeah. Um, it like literally the one of the last dance videos I dropped was to a Bow Wow song. Like, mm. I, I'm low key. Listen, I'm a 27 year old man. I'm low key listening to Lil Bow Wow like once or twice a week. Wow. Yeah, cause he, he had a follow your passion. <laughs> he had a different <laughs> like he was Bow Wow was different like his style and even though he like he grew up like I guess I think he grew up kind of wealthy. Um, he didn't live a, like a real street life. But I don't know, I, like something about like the like Mike era and all that stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was it. That was like technically my first like hero as, as a kid. What class did you graduate? 2015. Okay, I graduated 16. So there's not that much difference in our age. I was supposed to graduate in 2014, but early on in my life, I failed a, a grade. Uh, I eh, things happen. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we're still not that far off. True. Yeah, yeah, we're close. I'm I'm 27. Yeah. So, uh, with that, I I brought up Marvel Comics. I was actually curious. Are you like an anime girl or? I am into anime. Yes. Not saying that you give off. I am into anime, but you give off. Oh, do yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm that's into fair. anime. Yeah. I I just started watching One Piece, the the yeah. Netflix joint, and like you kind of give me the um. What's the guy with the swords? Do you know it? I don't watch One Piece. Uh, my sister said the same thing. Honestly, One Piece just has too many episodes. Mm-hmm. I, you made too many episodes. You blocked me out. Mm-hmm. I can't pay attention anymore. Send that to the writers. <laughs> Let them know. They've done too many. Mm-hmm. That's enough. Got you. Yeah. Well, there's a character on there that you definitely... <laughs> you give me his thieves for sure. That's cool. That's cool. So, yeah. So, like, okay. I've only watched... I'm not really an anime person like that. but And I get a lot of, like, you know, uh, slack for it. But I've only really watched like early Dragon Ball Z stuff. Is Yu Gi Oh? Yeah. Yu Gi Oh. That counts. One Punch Man. One Punch Man is so that's it. Funny. Oh, and um, Death Note. Yeah, Death Note. Is Up until L dies, that's it. Yeah, I've got this. Wow, uh, spoiler for anyone. Um, it's too late now, I guess. I mean, I went back. I went to the last episode and finished it, but I yeah. skipped everything after L died. Dang. I, I like Elle. I actually have a big painting of Elle that I just gifted to one of my coworkers um, at the piercing shop. So that's funny that you mentioned that mm-hmm. um, because I did that painting ages ago and hung on to it for years because um, it was supposed to be a gift for someone else. And then I decided that they didn't deserve it. So I just kept it under my bed for many years. And I just recently pulled it out and uh, gave it to someone. But yeah, uh, Death Note is great. My favorite Hunter, Hunter, hands down. Never seen it. You got to get into it. I mean, maybe you don't have to. It depends on what kind of anime you're into. I'm into shonen anime, which is like story of teenage boy becoming the best mm-hmm. to ever live. Fights a, a demon or so Naruto goes through a big challenge. Yeah, basically all of them. Naruto, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, there's so. It's many. like every one of them except for One Punch Man. I think they're fun. I think they're good. And I think Hunter does it well. See, I have this thing where I don't like purposefully watching good shows. Like, because my time, as an adult, I feel like our time becomes more valuable, in a sense. Mm-hmm. Um, so, like, with being a videographer, editor, like, I need more time to edit and shoot. Mm-hmm. And so I try not to, like, get caught onto shows because I'll end up, like, I'll end up watching it. I, like, Okay, good news. What? You'll love this then. They didn't finish it. One Piece? 
Hunter Hunter. Hunter Hunter. Yeah, they didn't finish the show. How many seasons? Like four. That's, oh, five. That's a lot of time. It's not that bad. It, it'll feel like it wasn't even that long when you get to the end because you're going to be like, where's the rest of it? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try one episode and watch how next week I'm going to be addicted. Watch one random episode. Fair enough. Yeah. Just like throw yourself into the mix a couple seasons like later when like people are fighting, obviously. Mm-hmm. And you're like, whoa, what the heck type of fighting is this? Mm. And that might get you interested. But before they even explain what the type of fighting is... A lot of childish nonsense. But that's how a lot of animes go. There's a lot of opening, a lot of fillers. But not as bad as Naruto. Uh, we're allowed to talk about your trio a little bit. Oh, yeah. Just so slightly. Absolutely. Um, so you are a part of a, I want to say it correctly, polyamorous relationship? Yes, sir. Yes. How, how, does, the, how does one get into that me personally i if i had to go back to the beginning i was in a relationship with someone who i loved very deeply Mm -hmm. i found out that that person was cheating on me a bunch and i broke up with them and i started seeing other people Mm -hmm. and then i'd be like man this new person is cool but I also really miss my shitty ex. Uh-huh. And I would go back to my shitty ex and then I'd be like, dang man, I shouldn't have broken it off with that one person because they were really good to me. And this guy, he's really not that good to me. I just, I do love him though, you know? And through a, doing that a few times, I eventually came to realize that it is possible to have feelings for more than one person at a time mm-hmm. and be honest about it. And he wasn't but I was and it was definitely painful doing the back and forth while being honest about it um but so much less hurtful than it was to just like find out that he'd been seeing other people on the side that sucked that was the pits and I realized like I really wish he would have just like told me he had a crush on someone instead of being a liar so that kind of led me down the rabbit hole of like Mm-hmm. being as open and honest as I can yeah. be about my feelings and for me that means like just because you know I am totally involved and in love with someone like it doesn't mean that I'm not going to develop a crush on someone else at the same time the next day it's not going to take away like I don't know when, yeah. when a mother has a child and then a second child she doesn't love the first one less right she just makes a little bit more room in her heart got you wow that was makes a little bit more room in her heart i'm gonna use that yeah what what are some of the things that like people get wrong about that type of relationship like Um, everyone has like their their you know their what they think at first because they don't know but what are some of the common things that they get wrong I think the biggest thing is that a lot of people tend to think that my boyfriend is like some kind of like player pimp that he like like swindled us that he tricked us into this thing that he's been behind the scenes I mean my boy is like a player <laughs> being a puppeteer and he like God, I love him so much, but he is not a puppeteer. Mm -hmm. Like, we totally have, like, minds of our own. Right. And came into this with all of our own respect as, like, full adults and human beings. Like, nobody got tricked. Right. You know? I... I knew they were together when I showed up, so... I mean, there's that. And also, like... She's been polyamorous since the dawn of time. I don't know. I just think people are really quick to assume that mm-hmm. I don't have a brain. Oh, uh, I see what you Yeah, I see what you Yeah. Mean. That, like, I didn't choose to be polyamorous. And I so did. And I so mm-hmm. clutched the fuck up. Like, you have no idea. The support system yeah. that exists in a triad is untouchable. I mean, I don't know about a quad. I've never been in a quad. 
but but the support system is great. Triple income, no kids. That sounds that sounds beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> like you guys, uh, y'all all have like three different like styles as people. Like mm-hmm. you and your your girlfriend are, are like polar opposites. Mm-hmm. From like, if I saw y'all in a room to get like on different ends of the room, I'd be like, those two could never be friends, type shit. No, I I love the differences that she and I have just because like I don't know I think it's fun to bond on similarities with people Mm -hmm. but like I was saying earlier bro I'm a weirdo and I like other weirdos fair enough and sometimes the best thing to have in common with other weirdos is how differently weird you are yeah and she gets to stand out in all of her own ways that have nothing to do with me. Technically, everyone's weird, if you think about it. Hell, yeah. But. If they're lucky. <laughs> if they're lucky. You don't think everyone's weird? I think everyone is pretty much weird. In I've definitely way. met some, like, normie normies out there. Like, you know what I'm talking about? The, but, like. Go ahead. Oh, what is a NPC kind of vibe like for example people that do you watch football barely me neither so (laughs) (laughs) so like people that are like diehard sport fans oh sorry Um, people that are diehard sports fans Mm -hmm. i find to be weird because at the like for me at the end of the day like you're literally watching people move a ball from like one place to another yeah and just seeing who could do it the most yeah and you like you'll go hard for like a team when it's like, why are you going hard for that team just because it's, it's like you're... You bet on it. That's it. There's money involved. They don't go hard for sports. They go hard for money. Okay. Think about it that way. What, what? So even college ones? Like even they bet on like college games too? Hell yeah. People bet on college games. Didn't know that. Yeah. But then also I think some of it is just like the hive mind. Like just, like, I don't know. I played sports. I never watched sports, but I played them. That's another thing. I dabble in a lot of things. Right. Played soccer for seven years. I can appreciate, like, doing activity, like, mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. playing a game or whatever, but, like... Watching it, the, yeah. Seeing how diehard people are, like, over, like, you know, watching it on television and stuff like that, it's... I don't know. It's weird to me. Like, in, in person games, I can feel some, like, mm-hmm. energy, but, like, I think because I became up a dancer, like, for me... Like, I just see so much value in being able to, like, move and create. Physical, yeah. yeah. I get that. I get that. But respect to anyone who plays a sport out there. There's a lot of you out there. Don't think I'm hating on you. I just think y'all weird. It's okay to be weird. Yeah. It's okay. Okay, so what other weird things are there to know about you that you're willing to? I have never met a Rubik's Cube I couldn't solve. You're good at that? Hell yeah. I've never solved one a day in my life, and I've tried. I love Rubik's Cubes. You're one of those? Yeah. There was this guy on my bus back in high school. Mm-hmm. He, could, he could do it, and I hated him. See, this is a conversation I was just having, like, 30 minutes ago. Why do I feel like some people, I don't know, the world got a love-hate relationship with me. Because some people be like, damn, man, Twist, you cool as fuck. And some people be like, Twist, we are not cool. And I think it's because of the Rubik's Cubes. <laughs> mm. I think that's what it is. I'm going to put the cubes away. I think I'm scaring people off. I don't know. Like, for some reason, a Rubik's Cube is kind of, like, cocky. If you can solve it, like, it's kind of cocky. I don't yeah. know why. Because most people can't, like, other than Will Smith. I bet I can solve a Rubik's Cube faster, faster. than Will Smith. I hope he sees that and challenges you. What's up, Will Smith? I'm Will, but not Smith. I, that's why I had to specify. Okay, so, okay, you said <laughs> you can solve Rub- Rubik's Cubes. I said that weird. But uh, what else? What other? Do, are there any okay. weird things that people don't know about me? I'm a, yeah. I'm a big, 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 I don't know if this is weird or not, but I'm a big Captain America fan. Like, I have, like, yeah. a... Like a little yeah, that's Captain weird. America shrine, but not like in a weird Whoa. way. Hold on, hear me out. Not in a weird way. Like I'm trying. To I don't have like well. a picture of Chris Evans or anything like that. Uh, I don't have like any 
Walt, like, okay. Um, so yeah. it's not about Chris. Evans. It's not about Chris Evans. It's okay. Captain America is my favorite like superhero like of all time, and not because he's American either. I think he's like the biggest propaganda soldier ever. But he's a good person. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I, I won't argue that. I'm gonna t- I'm gonna tell you the moment I knew I was like, yo, this is like my favorite out of all of them. Um, there's a movie called I think it's called Ultimate Avengers or something like that. Um, it's animated. But in the movie, the Hulk goes, like, super crazy on everybody. He's dumping on everybody. Yeah. He's beating Iron Man up, Wolverine. No, Wolverine isn't in it. Um, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm Ant-Man, Thor. He's beating everybody up. He's beating Captain America up, too. But there's a moment where Captain America gets up and puts his finger (laughs) in in the Hulk's face. Yes. (laughs) And says, we're not finished yet. It hits him, like, twice. He still gets, like, got beat up. But, like, I knew I was like, oh, snap, like. Like, being able to stand up to, like, something you know you might lose to is, like... Yeah, that's dope. And from then on, like, I've been a, a huge fan. So, anything Captain America that you may have and you don't need it, I'll take it gladly. I do actually have a bunch of Captain America memorabilia saved in an attic. It's from the 60s. A you what? Be... A Captain America No, one? I'm bullshitting you. I'm sorry. That wasn't nice of me. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> you're really good. Thanks. I don't even have an attic. You made up the attic too? Yeah. You re- you should start your own podcast. Thank you. Indeed. Thank you. And just lie? Yes, just just call it Liecast. I don't know. Liecast. No, that sounds trash. Okay. Let's call it something, but you should start your own podcast and lie to people like have people come on and just tell them different stories about yourself. Mm, yes. Like you could That's a good idea. like right now like you could be like uh I'm a priest. I am ordained. See, no, you, no no no. Before. You think you're getting me now. Not a, okay. <laughs> you almost you saw my pause. <laughs> I paused for a second cuz you almost had me. What future or other body like changes do you plan on making? Oh, that's a great question. Um as far as like heavy body mods, I don't really think there's anything else I want to do. I was really torn on whether I wanted to split my tongue mm-hmm. or get my ears pointed like a little oh. elf. Um, if you but, do that with the tongue, that's like... Yeah, I feel like that'd be a lot though. You Lord of the Rings. Yeah, right? Right. So I was always like one or the other, not both, and I feel like I've settled on the one. So I'm not going to point my ears. Okay. I do plan on getting what's called a coin slot. Um, a coin slot. So I've got this big piercing right here. This huge. Oh ring wait, right here. the hole. This yeah, it's a. It literally looks like a slot that you could slip a coin through. That's what that's called. So you can called? stack up a bunch of rings. Yeah. I'm assuming it's um, not polite to put a coin through someone's ear who has a coin slot. You know. Is it like a cultural thing? I would so try it personally. Maybe just ask permission first, right? Ask permission first, but yes, okay. definitely try. So we're coin slotting the ear <laughs> with with a hole. Mm-hmm. Like, so they, they have... take a scalpel and like, or they use a biopsy punch. It depends on what tools they want to use. It doesn't really matter, obviously, what tools. Mm-hmm. They use a blade and cut away a part of your ear to create a tiny little slit so that you could wear like seven or eight rings all stacked up in the same spot. So what, I think it's cute. So what I'm going to do that. What do they do with the the missing meat? Uh, the you, ear meat. You get to do whatever you want with it. It's your meat. <laughs> well, okay. I've never actually seen ear meat before. I'll send pictures. You have your ear meat pictures? No, 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 no. When I do it, if you'd like Got to you. see my ear meat, I'll send it to you. Got you. Okay, so... I'll put one of those little fuzzy filters. So, future ear holes, uh, coin yep. slides, anything else that you want to do? Heavy tattoos. A ton of tattoos. But that's like, about it. Like Hoya? Probably not as many as Hoya, but close. But close. So, yeah. we're, t- we're talking some face tats. Yeah, I'd like to have my face tattooed. Yeah. I think um, I might get, like, one or two more on this arm, but that might be it for me. Really? Yeah. Um, maybe because, like... Do you not enjoy it? It's so... It's, for I'm, me, it's not I'm about 50, enjoying 50. it. Honestly, yeah. I think some people, they have this weird misconception that I get all these body mods because I enjoy pain, 
And, I mean, it's not a weird thing to think because I've endured a lot of pain to look this way. Mm -hmm. However, that is not why I look this way. I look this way because I want to be hot. And I just think pain is a consequence, whatever. Who cares? Consequence to hotness. Yeah, if you want to work out, boom. Yeah. Yeah. You want to be big and strong, it's going to hurt. No pain, no gain. I got you. So that's it. Tattoos, ears. Yeah. Coin slides. Yeah. I'll get a couple of piercings, but they'll be minor. You won't even be able to tell the difference. Okay. (laughs) Well, with that being said, that is everything uh, I think we could have chatted about today. Awesome. Um, that's it. Thank you.